Hi friends, uh, welcome to PL SQL video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about uh, native dynamic SQL. So, if you are running any SQL queries in PL SQL, so normally what you can do, so you have to give everything, okay? But if you want to change some uh, table name or if you want to give values at runtime, so normally you can't give directly in PL SQL. So, instead of that, what we can do, you can go for using dynamic SQL. Dynamic SQL is uh, is a keyword called execute immediate using this in using this execute immediate so we can run any sql or pl sql uh, code and this can be run at runtime that is dynamic sql so here when you are using the sql code so don't specify semicolon end of this if you are using the pl sql so end of the line you have to specify semicolon so that is the differences if you are using sql and pl sql in execute immediate and there are two ways you can run this Execute immediate. One is with a single quote, and the text you can provide this. Whatever you are running, SQL, DDL, or any operations, DDLs, or any operations. Okay. Then, if you are using a single quote, or you can use for open and closing the braces. Here you can see I am giving example. And uh, don't specify semicolon if you are using a SQL script. If you are using a PL SQL script like a begin and end procedure, execute procedure, a function, anything, PL SQL code in execute immediate, you can use end of that semicolon. So, what I am doing here, I am dropping a, a table here, then I am dropping two tables and I am recreating those two tables using execute immediate. I am running this, see, successfully completed. Now you can verify the table is created or not. Now, table is available. Check that college one and college. Both tables are created. So using execute immediate. It's a native dynamic SQL query. So using this, we can run any SQL queries. Like most of the scenarios, we'll be using for a DDL script, like dropping table or creating a table at runtime. That is concept of dynamic SQL. Then if you specify semicolon here, what will happen? See here, it will throw error. SQL command not properly ended. So when you are using a SQL query in dynamic SQL, don't end with a semicolon. And if you are using a PL SQL queries inside your execute immediate, you can use a semicolon end of that PL SQL. Okay. So this is the way we can go for. Same thing, there is another method. You can pass the entire string to your execute immediate. Here I have two variables, V and D. First variable, as see here, I am creating a table college 3 and I am dropping a table here. This is another variable. So, this text I have assigned to this variables and using execute immediate, I am calling this variable. You can see here, I am running this successfully completed. Now, you can verify these two tables is available or not. Like college 3. First, I am dropping a table college exists, then I am creating table. here. I am dropping a table D and I am creating a table here. So, one method is you can pass the entire string into some variable and you can call that variable in execute immediate. Another method is directly you can pass the string here like this with a single quote or open and closing the braces with a single quote. And uh, remember that don't specify semicolon in SQL. So, thank you for watching my videos. In other session, I will explain more detail in execute immediate. Please uh, subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel. Thank you very much.